Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, King Sanders here, and we are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Thursday, June 30th, slate of MLB action. I'm super excited to dive into it. We do have a couple games on today. I'll be honest, I kind of opened the sports books to look at the uh, at some of the lines today, and I am not a huge fan of a lot of them. Um, but I did end up finding a couple plays that I did like. I have two official plays, and then I do have a fun little parlay that I did throw on as well. Obviously, it's not an official play, um, so tail it at your own risk, but it is one that I think has some really good value to it, and I, I really like the odds of it hitting. So, Without any further ado, I did just want to go ahead and say that we are still currently on the road to 7,000 subscribers. You guys have been showing a lot of support here recently. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Next, I did just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out here to all of our members here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do, and thank you guys so much for giving such a small channel such a big chance, as I always say. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick recap. As of yesterday, we had two really, really bad beats. Um, our first one, we had the Braves team total over four and a half. They finished right at four. The amount of uh, runners that they left on base just really made me just sick. Like, it, it was it was very unfortunate. The Braves themselves, they finished right at four, finished right on the hook. Unfortunately, just not in our favor. And then we did have the Cardinals and the Marlins under three and a half runs in the first five innings. Now, if they, they did end up scoring a total of five runs in the in the uh, five runs in the first five innings, but the reason it was a bad beat was because um, going into the fifth inning, there was only two runs scored. And then the Marlins ended up scoring one, and then um, they were, so they were at three. And then in the bottom of the fifth is when the Cardinals ended up you know scoring two runs. So it was very unfortunate, but that one did not end up working out for us. Then we had the Angels. Um, run line in the first five and that one did end up working out so we've been pretty solid here in our first five picks so we ended up going one and two on the day though so this is our first non-profit day in quite some time so we have been really really profitable here recently hopefully we can keep that going today um, with my two official plays so let's go ahead and dive into it our first play of the day we're gonna be taking the dodgers and the padres no run first inning at minus 130 odds i know this one's a little bit juiced so i do apologize about that but um 130 not too bad. Definitely not too bad. Um, when it comes to the Dodgers, they do, um, they are second few, they allow the second fewest runs per game. In San Diego, they allow the fourth fewest runs per game. So both of these defenses are very, very good when it comes to um, not allowing a lot of runs. San Diego is also 22nd in first inning runs per game. I will say that the um, on the flip side of things, the Dodgers, they are really good in the first inning. I think they're like mid tier. I think it's like 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 low tens ish i don't i didn't write the exact stat down so i do apologize about that but i believe that they're top 10 when it comes to first inning runs but uh dodgers dodgers actually tied for eighth excuse me i guess i did write it down i just didn't look at it um so obviously they are a top 10 um offense when it comes to the first first inning runs but i think that the pitching matchup is going to be a tough one here for the dodgers and i think that they may struggle i'm, I'm truly more worried about the um padre side of things as opposed to like the um the dodgers and here's why joe musgrove is going to be on the mound for san diego with a 2.12 era and a 1.72 era on the road he has been really really good here um just over the course of the year and he's been really really solid on the road allowing just 1.72 runs you know earned run average so because of that, I, as long as it's not in the first inning, it really doesn't matter. I think that it, it is some solid value here. Also, Joe Musgrove in the month of June is 3-1 and one to the no-run first inning, so hopefully he can keep that streak going, and I definitely think that he's going to be able to. Um, I, the Dodgers are really either hit or miss. Literally, they swing for the fences a lot, um, so hopefully they can end up working out for us. And um, Mitchell White is going to be on the mound for the Dodgers, and this is where it does make me a little bit nervous. He doesn't have a huge sample size, um, but he has pitched one inning versus the Padres, and he does have a zero ERA, but it was only one inning. So definitely makes me nervous. Um, Mitchell White is a much younger pitcher, so hopefully the Padres, you know, they don't just crank a couple out of the park and um, everything, but the over-under is set really low as well. I think it's like seven and a half. And then on top of that, this no, this no run first inning is juiced to minus 130. So the books are expecting both sides to be able to get it done today. 
And so hopefully all these stats are backing it and it ends up working out for us. So that is our first play of the day. Dodgers and the Padres, no run first inning at minus 130 odds. Now for our second play of the day, we're going to be taking the Brewers money line here versus the Pirates at minus 120 odds. Now if you look at it, Milwaukee is the fourth best road team in the entire MLB with a record of 25-18. and 18. So they've been really, really solid here on the road. And the Pirates on the flip side of things, they haven't even hit 500 at home this year. They're just 17-20 and 20 at home this year. They have struggled just a little bit. Milwaukee is also 13th and runs allowed, whereas Pittsburgh is 25th. So Pittsburgh does give up a lot more runs per game than the Brewers do. And Milwaukee is also a better offensive team than the Pit- than the Pirates as well. Milwaukee is 13th in runs per game and Pittsburgh is 28th. So um, Pittsburgh is bottom three when it comes to scoring runs in the entire MLB. Milwaukee is kind of in that mid-tier. They're 13th and Milwaukee is also on a four-game win streak. So I think that's another great reason to um, be looking into this bet. They are the hotter team right now. So hopefully they can, can they can carry that momentum over into this game here versus the Pirates. Now, I will say the pitching matchup is what scares me a lot. And I mean like a lot. And the reason being is because both of these pitchers are not very good. Um, They have not been very good over the course of the year. But we just need them to get it done up until the time that the bullpens go in. Because I do think that uh, Milwaukee's bullpen is, you know, is more capable to get it done than Pittsburgh's. But we just need um, them to get a good lead before the bullpen happens. And we don't really need to worry about it too much. Um, Adrian Hauser is going to be on the mound here for Milwaukee. He is four and eight, so not too shabby, not too great with a 4.5 ERA. I know, definitely not something that makes you want to, you know, hammer the bet by any stretch of the imagination. But I do still think that it is a that it is a good spot to target. And um, JT, I am sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his last name for Pittsburgh. Um, he is one and seven. So definitely not a good record whatsoever with a 4.14 ERA. So the ERAs are very, very similar. Um, Adrian Hauser does have a better record of, technically than JT, but it's not something that I love by any stretch of the imagination. So that is our second play of the day. Milwaukee money line here versus Pittsburgh at minus 120 odds. Now for our final play of the day, it's going to be a parlay. It's going to be a hitter's parlay, and it's technically going to be in the same game parlay. So if you wanted to go ahead and um, and you know, throw this into a same game parlay. You're more than welcome to. It's not an official play. It's just something that I do like. So it's going to be Dansby Swanson and Travis Darnaud to both record a hit. So, um, if you take a look at it, Swanson, he has gotten a hit in 21 of his 23 games in the month of June. So definitely a solid, um, record right there. And Travis Darnaud has got it, got a hit in eight straight games, and he's also gotten a hit in 13 of his last 16. So two of the best hitters um, in this game so far, they're going to be, you know, parlayed together, and and it does give you minus 105 value, at least on DraftKings. So I think that it is really solid value here for both Dansby Swanson and Travis Darnaud to get a hit. Um, if you look at the pitching matchup, though, Aaron Nola is going to be on the mound for the Phillies. He has been a pretty good pitcher over the course of the year um, with a 4.1 ERA at home. But you're talking about two of the best hitters on the team. So hopefully they can go ahead and just get one for us each. And so that is going to be our last official play of the day. So Dansby Swanson, Travis Darnold to both record a hit at minus 105 odds. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Like I said, we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. So if you guys are new, make sure that you guys are subbed. But that's going to do it for me. This is King Center signing out. Peace.